even though experimental music is not visible in the mainstream, then the influence is subtle and all pervasive. And even though Brian Eno is not on top of the pops all the time, he was a very influential figure on the history of British music. And without him, we probably wouldn't be sitting here today. The first time I saw Eno was this uh, strange wizard-like figure um, appeared with Roxy Music on the Old Grey Whistle Test. And he was processing Phil Manzanera or somebody through his VCS3 with a joystick and was totally in his own world, oblivious to the rest of the band. Like taking the studio on the stage, it was the beginning of this interface between you could be the studio boffin, but you're doing it in public. And to me that was a new role that was more exciting than just being under the spotlight. That really was a world-shattering, groundbreaking, brilliant record. And that's about that's 20 years old now. But all, this new, all that newfangled sampling and stuff, that was when it was really a new thing. <laughs> Talking of, um, you know, where the beginning of the dance rock crossover started, it didn't even start with New Order, really, you know, that's what we're talking heads doing. <laughs> you know, a year or two earlier would have been seen as avant-garde music, but ended up being on the chart for a long time and sold, I don't know, but, you know, six figures sales or something. Um, used to be in every household and um, still a classic record today. We're at the Big Chill Gala. It's a beautiful Sunday. Sunday's the day for the chill out. On the seventh day, he chilled out. And here they are, chilling out most largely. Come down this field, see how many Eno tunes you hear this afternoon. It's probably um, in more DJs' boxes on this site than uh, any party in the world. There are quite a lot of Eno you know, collaborators actually doing, doing sets here. And what other festival has an entire field full of installation art? For those who, who say, where's the ambient scene in the year 2000? I would say you need to be down here next year.